Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. We are coming at you today to talk about nine things you need to stop doing while RVing in 2021. 2021. We've almost made it. Almost made it. Almost made and it. We know a lot of you guys got new RVs this year, and a lot of you may not have been able to take them out yet this year. Correct. So you're going to be going out next year because 2021 is going to be great. It's going to be amazing. But wonderful. There are things you may not know, <laughs> right? Or there are some bad habits you may have. Or there are things you might see other people doing, and you're like, should they be doing that? Probably not. So here are nine <laughs> things that everybody needs to stop doing. In 2021. Well, camping in 2021. So Ready? first on our list. And the one that so many people do. Oh my God. We, like we've, we've seen multiple people do it just today. Don't walk through people's sites. Just don't do it. Like, would you? walk through like a neighborhood and just like cut through people's yards and like walk right by their houses. Especially and, people you don't know. And step over their stuff in their yard. Yeah. And don't do that. There are roads, go yeah. around. Yeah, we know it's annoying. We know it's inconvenient. Like the bathhouse, I can see right it. There. It's right there. But there are three other sites between me and it. So I walked around yeah. and went over. Because when people are at that site, that is their space. That's their yard, yeah. They so, expect to not have people walking through it. Yeah. So don't do it. Yeah, so if it's an occupied site, just treat it like a house. Yeah. And just don't walk through the yard. Number two. <laughs> Number two, when you're in your site and you're parking your vehicles, if you have more than one or just one, or you have multiple like and, toys. But your RV too. And your this RV. This applies to your RV as well. Make sure it's in the site. Yeah. Don't hang out in the street. No. Like, don't don't hang over where you're not supposed to be. Well, for one very, very, very important reason. Because those roads and the sites are made so people can get into, like, the one across the street from you yeah. if you're off the road. If yeah. you're parked in the road, I might not be able to back into my site. Yeah. Oh, and, like Aaron ever backs in. Well. <laughs> The person driving the RV might not right. be able to get it. Yeah. Right. And so it's just, it's for a lot of different reasons, yeah. but make sure all of your vehicles and all of your stuff is, is in, in your, your space. Yeah. And the bounds of your site in general are the road to a logical rear end. Like here, it's going to be the electrical boxes. Mm -hmm. And then a, another rule of thumb is kind of sewer to sewer. Right. Right. So I, our site now is where my sewer hookup is over there. Yep. And all the way over to, to this guy's sewer hookup. Mm -hmm. So we have, that's kind of your sewer to sewer and then road to rear. That's yeah. kind of your site. So just kind of keep your stuff in that site. Yeah. When you have super bright lights, not just at Christmas time, yeah. but like if you have a really, really bright night light or like the lights porch on the light front of the rig. or the awning lights or those sort of things, yeah. those things need to go out like when quiet time is is in effect when yeah. quiet hours are in effect because people go to sleep and your awning light is just shining right into their bedroom yeah it's so annoying yeah and and you know you guys know we we love grand designs oh like yeah our first was grand design oh, we yeah. absolutely love loved it grand design. grand design is very very guilty of having really bright <laughs> lights bright up lights. on the nose of their rigs they they're cool yeah but those are to help you hook up or <laughs> unhook in the dark yeah they're not they're not all night lights. Yeah, don't, just don't leave those on. You guys know we don't do a lot of campfires. <laughs> we just don't. Yeah. But a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. And you should maybe not be burning such wet wood. Yeah, if your wood's smoking really bad, put it out. Yeah, it's not the best it's, thing. The, and when you put it out, a, make sure put it's it out. all the way. <laughs> yeah, don't, we, we were walking around yesterday and someone had extinguished a fire. And extinguished then, and then a fire. And went away and all it was doing was just pumping out. White, white smoke. acrid, like, eye-burning smoke. It was awful. And it's out, right? It's not going to set anything on fire, but that's not the issue. Yeah, the you issue is that smoke, destroyed these things, everybody else's all around these slides, there's yeah. little gaps and yeah. little holes. And then you go in and out the door, and air comes in, yep. and air intakes for the AC. And there's There Just are holes. The, RVs are basically sieves when it comes to air. <laughs> they get in all the all over the place. Yep. So that smoke gets in, too. Yep. I don't like smelling like smoke. No. Right? I, especially not nasty, wet, like heavy smoke. Wood smoke, smoke. Yeah. 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 Just so, be considerate about yeah. the other people around you. This is a very packed campground that we're in right now. Yeah. If you're and out so, in the middle of nowhere, boondocking, then do what you want. Do whatever. Make smoke signals, talk yeah. to your neighbors, you know? Yeah, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this but, next one is going to be really quick, though. Uh, the next one, yes. Pick up after your dog. Just, do we have to explain? I mean, anymore? really? Pick up after your dog. All of you. Yeah. Not Everybody. just. If you can't During the pick day up after when somebody's dog, watching you. Yeah, if you can't pick up after your dog, 
please don't own a dog. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> next, laundry. Speaking of, we were doing laundry late last night. Very late last night. So a lot of campgrounds have laundry mm -hmm. on site. Which we and appreciate. I guess this applies to laundromats as well. Yeah. Stay on top of your laundry. Yeah. I, you know, I am doing my laundry just the same as you are. And if you are 20 minutes late to come and pick up your laundry from the washer or the dryer, yeah. then that means I've been sitting around waiting for you to move your stuff so I can get on with my laundry. Yeah. It's just, just be considerate. Yeah. And I mean, there are, there are actually signs in this laundry room explicitly saying you are able to move unattended laundry. I'm sure people fight about that. Oh, I'm sure. But it, it's a rule. It's on the wall. Yeah. And laundromats are a little bit better about that because they have people that are working there. But right. anyway. Yeah, but a lot of times at a campground laundry, it's, people will go load honor. their stuff and go home and not set a timer or forget about it. or Like, there's a whole stack of clothes in there. And I try to be in there for, like, five minutes ahead of time. Yeah. Just so as soon as it's done, I'm able to yeah. move it because yeah. I know that there's going to be somebody waiting eventually. Yeah, so. just like cleaning up after your dog staying on top of your laundry it's just yeah. being considerate just be nice. others, right a lot of most of these are just being nice yeah the next one that we have on our list is quiet hours, quiet hours yep. all campgrounds have quiet hours from nighttime until the morning of when you need to be quiet in your site and it's normally only like 10 or 11 to like 6 or 7. yeah it's, it's not it's kind of difficult. common sense hours we're not old crotchety people we're up until one or two in the morning we are. anyway but not everybody is. But our and children are asleep. Ch our and kids should be. <laughs> Hopefully they're asleep. They're not yeah. up until midnight. Yeah. No, they, they go to bed probably around 8 or 9 most yeah. nights. And it's, it, it's just be considerate. Again, yes. it's just being considerate. And a lot of campgrounds have posted quiet hours. That goes for riding through loudly on motorcycles or whatever. Yeah. It goes for blasting music, blasting music at night. Being for outside being around a campfire. Being really loud, loud around a campfire. Yeah. Um, you know, people talking outside is not going to keep anybody yeah, awake. No. But when there's a lot of people and it's a lot of raucous kind of talking, yeah. it just be considerate. Yeah, when it we really were, is just, you're, everybody's very close in together. When, when we were at the down. fort a couple weeks ago, we were driving around the golf cart and there was this huge group of people. Remember oh, that? Yeah. Huge group of people. They had like a movie screen up, they had a fire going, they had a radio on full blast, and they were all talking at the top of their lungs to trying talk over all to the talk noise. over the radio and the movie. I can't imagine how annoying that was. To, and it was late, too. We were was, out at like 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Mm. Another one that is also posted around campgrounds. In all Speed campgrounds. Limits. Speed limits. Speed limits. Normally, they're kind of slow. They're annoying. It's like seven or <laughs> seven and a half or nine miles an hour. Some you get to go There's 10. There's a reason for that. Yeah, it definitely is. And There are people. There are kids. There are animals. And you can't see all the time because all yeah. these big RVs, you know, you never know when someone's going to just run out in the front or... Yeah. Uh, so the there's always are, yeah, animals and stuff they're, too. Yeah. They're annoying, right? But there's a reason. You don't want to run over someone. Right. You don't want all that paperwork, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, and too, with the quiet hours, if you're going 10 miles an hour, you're not making a lot of noise. Yeah. I think in general, you it's know? foot off the brake. Yeah, right? it's just You're, you're, you're just really coasting. just coasting. So yep. just follow the speed limits. Okay. Um, and number nine. Aaron did not want me to put this one on the list. I agree with this one, but, but it's I, a little I bit feel controversial. Like, I feel like it needs to be said. Stop smoking. Okay, stop smoking in campgrounds. Cigarette yeah. smoke smells awful. awful. It smells terrible. And like we were talking about with campfires, that smoke gets in Everywhere. RVs. So if someone is sitting over here and smoking and the wind is blowing towards my RV, my stuff is going to smell like smoke. I don't want that. I don't want it in my lungs. I don't want it in my kids' lungs. I don't want it in my clothing, in my furniture, in my carpet. That's just gross. I don't want it. So those are our nine things. Nine things. Nine things. Stop if you, doing If them. you do any of these now, stop doing them. <laughs> if you've never done any of these. Excellent. Good, good job. job. Yay. <laughs> All right. We, um, we have a lot of stuff going on in 2021. We do. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Yeah. Um, we have a bunch of stuff going on even just before 2021. So but before we get to that, leave a comment down below. What are you looking forward to most in 2021? Yes. Right? I don't, RV related, camping related, travel, anything else, seeing and family, kids back whatever. To school, whatever. What are it is. you looking forward to most in 2021? Let us know down below. Yes. What are we doing? So we have a. I know we've been talking a lot about our patrons recently and our road runners, which They're we growing. call them. They're growing. We're growing. I love it. We're 
getting to do a whole bunch of new things with them and we're gonna do a live holiday um, chat with them tomorrow yep. so uh, if you want to be part of that and kind of check out the inside of our rig well we do a little tiny tour of what everything's decorated on in there and mm -hmm. just kind of talk about our holiday plans with our patrons um, I think our Christmas tree is awesome our Christmas tree is pretty cool it it's is. um it is it's an RV one that Christmas it's tree. one that everybody can fit in their RV <laughs> yeah. So, so if you want to um, see it, yeah, you, you got to be on a live stream. Come on, join the Roadrunners at 5 gocom slash Roadrunners. And um, hopefully we'll see you there. We'd love to see some new faces. We're also planning a bunch of cool things for people that we might meet at the Tampa RV Show. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so in a couple weeks. Um, we have some cool merchy things to give we, out. Okay, guys, I have 300, 300 of these. 300 of these. Okay, they say 5 to go on one side. And, and then, then RV life. They have really cool little, uh, like little line art of RVs and hashtag RV yeah. life on the other side. We They're have really 300 neat. of these. Yes. If you see us at the Tampa show, come get one. We will give you one. Absolutely. Everybody gets one. We also have um, exclusive Tampa RV show um, five stickers, to stickers, five to go stickers yep, that we we're going to be giving out. A couple different styles of five to go stickers that we will probably only ever make. Yes, for the Tampa show. We'll only have a limited number of those for right. people at the Tampa show. And we have some pins. We also have pins. We have some pins yep. if you're more of a pin person yep. than a sticker person. So find us at the RV show. Mm -hmm. um, we'll we will put specific information about where and when yeah. on our Facebook page. Yes. So check okay. out 5 to go on and Facebook. And probably Instagram as well. Yeah. Yep. And speaking of runners, we actually added a new level. We did. Yeah, you can we get added in at $2. A measly little teeny tiny $2 level, and that's just digital stuff only. Yeah. It's the secret uh, Discord group, mm -hmm. it's the private Facebook group, it's the posts on Patreon, yep. uh, and live streams and all that. Super low level entry, two bucks a month. I mean, Absolutely. There's probably $2 under this table, right? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you just want to get in on the two dollar level and join us, there's also a couple other like higher levels if you want to look at that too. But two dollars and all good. of this stuff totally optional. Yeah, totally we'll optional. always be making yep. videos. We'll always be uh, you know. Yep, YouTube's priority number one. Yep. We'll, I'll, we'll, yeah. Yep. Alrighty. So we will see you guys in the next episode. Remember, let us know what yeah. are you looking forward to in 2021. Absolutely. All right. Bye guys. Bye.